everyone. I'm Hemla Vargas with the FP Vargas Group, and this is Fabian Vargas with the FP Vargas Group. And today I'm going to be interviewing him. Um, so today's topic is going to be um, how Fabian has joined the neighborhood engagement team with the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Well, I joined a couple of months ago, but. Mm -hmm. A couple months ago, We're still going to talk about it. it is called the Clay County Sheriff's Net, which stands for Neighborhood Engagement Team. Um, so, with that being said, you've been with it for a couple months now. What do you think of it? I think it's excellent. Um, today, actually, we were out at the Orange Park Library. We meant to do a video over there, um, but we couldn't find a suitable place, and there was a lot of people, so I didn't want to disturb anybody considering there's a library. Um, but yeah, we were there for four hours, so we set up a table. Um, you know, we had a lot of flyers, handing out information, um, telling people about it, because a lot of people don't know exactly what the Sheriff's Net is. Um, of course, not every county has this. Our county has it, which is Clay County here in Florida, in uh, the Jacksonville area, Orange Park. Um, it stands for Neighborhood Engagement Team. And it's pretty much a neighborhood watch on steroids, if you, if you recall. So instead of having a neighborhood watch on one specific neighborhood, like an HOA or any neighborhood for that matter, and having, um, you know, different directors and different people leading that, that team, we do it by zones. So here the clown, the K clown, uh, the Clay County, <laughs> the Clay County Sheriff's Office um, has six, uh, six zones. Um, so each zone has their own uh, net group. So we're in zone one. Um, because that's where we live and because we're in zone one when we we have our meetings you know all the not all but some of the zone one uh service deputies attend uh, the chief of every zone so our chief in zone one attends he's very involved with us uh we meet once a month and we'll do neighborhood walks uh we'll engage with the community as far as um civilian status so i'm not nowhere near a sworn uh, sheriff's deputy anymore those of you that know me, I know that I was in Tennessee. I'm not that anymore. I'm just doing this voluntarily uh, to engage with the community, still kind of be involved but not be involved, um, if that makes sense. And I believe that because I used to have the struggle when I was back in uniform, that a lot of communities, you know, a lot of people in communities didn't want to be seen speaking to people in uniform because they were afraid of retaliation and stuff like that. So at least, at, at least this gives us a chance to be out in our own neighborhoods speaking to our neighbors, trying to keep our ears open. Um, and I think I think it works out better because people are more engaged. They're more willing to talk to you, especially that, you know, we are neighbors, you know. So, um, so far it's been excellent. So far it's been excellent. You know, I had a good time those four hours at the library. Um, uh, you know, I was there the whole time. Um, just found out today at the library that we're going to be doing the, the next neighborhood uh, walk is going to be on September 21st. Um, and then right after the walk, I'm going to go and we're going to do another recruit me in event in one of the local churches. Um, so yeah, so it's definitely, definitely a lot of involvement. I'm excited about it. I like it so far. Um, you know, like I said, it gets, gets me in there without having to be in there. So, yeah. So if somebody wanted to join, how would they join? Well, you could go to the, um, the sheriff's office website. So go to Clay County Sheriff's Office. Um, there you'll have a section and it'll say net. Um, so you click on that, you have all the information there, depending on which zone you are, which you should, you should know which zone you are. If you don't know what zone you live in, in Clay County, um, you could call the non-emergency hotline, which is listed on the website. And then you could ask, um, whoever picks up to guide you in the direction of who would know what zone you're in. Um, we have that information and you can always reach out to me and I could always find out for you. Uh, because I have all that information of the zones and, and which zone you were falling. So here in Clay County, uh, you know some of the some of the zones that I know of is here in Orange Park. We have Oak Leaf, which Oak Leaf is becoming a monster. So Oak Leaf has their own zone all the way down to Keystone Heights. So we have Middleburg, Keystone Heights. We have Green Cove, um, and as well as Fleming Island. So just depending on which zone, because like here Orange Park and, and Oak Leaf, we kind of on a division when you get further out on Argyle. Uh, so it all depends on which side you're on and where that zone uh, line meets of which zone you'll be in. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out the Clay County Sheriff's Office website. Uh, the information is on there, also the Facebook page and other social media avenues. Um, and if you want more information, just reach out to me. I'm more than happy to meet you somewhere. I'll just send it out to you through email. It's up to you. Well, sounds like a great community thing yeah. to get involved uh, with. Another thing also that I wanted to mention, unless she said that she mentions the website. Um, 
you can attend any of our meetings as a guest. You don't have to be a member. So don't think that you have to join, um, you know, to attend the meeting. So you, we do allow guests to attend. This way you could get a feel and see if it's, you know, even something that you would want to be interested in. I highly recommend that you that you do attend just to get a feel for it and check it out. Like the last meeting that we had, uh, the mayor of Orange Park, she just got um, elected uh, for the town of Orange Park. She was out at our meeting. She was speaking, telling us about all the wonderful things that she's planning for the town of Orange Park. Uh, so we had guests there and then, you know, it was their choice. If you do, after you attend the meetings, if you do want to apply, we have a paper application or you can apply on the website. Um, you will have to do a background check, which is something that is excellent, I think, because, it, you know, we know who's there based on their background checks. Of course, we don't have access to it. The sheriff's office will have access to it. So you will go through a background check through the sheriff's office. It won't be through us like a, a private thing. You actually go through it through the Clay County Sheriff's Office. Um, at no cost. They run it for free. Um, once the background comes back, you'll get a letter from either our, you know, one of our directors or somebody that's in charge of the, of the zone and congratulating you on attending. Uh, you will have, uh, you will be asked to go to, and this will be in the email, you'll be asked to go to one of the substations. Um, if you're in Green Cove, they'll probably ask you to go to HQ, it's the headquarters, and then they'll take your picture and you get an ID like you see here. I'm um, stating that you're a member of the sheriff's office on net. So this identifies you as a net member. Um, so you could get into places that, that we need to get into and as well as, you know, out in the community or uh, local law enforcement, if you happen to, you know, interact with, uh, interact with them somehow, at least you have your ID and you'll be able to um, identify yourself as a sheriff's net member. Um, so then they know that you've already gone through the background, you are involved with us. Um, so it kind of gives that, you know, a little bit of, a, of, of you know, breaking ice of, of that, you know, they don't know who you are. At least then they know that you've gone through some process to be somewhat sane, of course, to be a member of the show's net. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. And if you join, you get this pretty green T-shirt. Well, I paid for that. <laughs> you got to pay for your shirts, of course. Yeah. And it's really nice. These hats are really, really nifty. Yeah, I like yeah. them. You put one on. There you go. Now I can be a part of it, too. Yeah. And we, you know, we, 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 char we charge for the, for the attire because, you know, we are, another thing is we are self-funded. Um, this has nothing to do with the tax budget or anything. Um, so the sheriff's net is not in uh, the Clay County uh, budget. We self-fund ourselves. And we do that by, you know, selling merchandise and, and other avenues and stuff like that. You know, we have a couple of generous members that pay for a lot of stuff. And thank you for that if you guys are watching. Um, but we do fund ourselves, you know, whenever I get a couple of bucks or something like that that I can give. I will give, um, you know, to the team so that, that we could purchase more flyers, more, more print. Um, you know, we just got a couple of new banners uh, to do the recruitment events, um, uh, more, you know, cards and stuff like that so we could give out. So, yeah, so we do, we do fund ourselves. Um, so that's another reason why we, you know, we look for uh, great members so that, that we could, you know, continue this thing. And right. I think every neighborhood we go to, everybody's been excellent. You know, everybody mm -hmm. loves that we're out there walking the neighborhoods and we're out there engaging because, of course, we all know that every police department, no matter where you are, any sheriff's office or department, whatever, you know, you have in your, in your county, um, we know there's never enough cops, you know, because that's a budget thing. So you can never have enough cops patrolling, walking the neighborhoods. Um, so I, I really enjoy it because I'm ex-law enforcement and I wish this was back in the places where I used to work. Um, it's nice to see the community being involved and walking their own neighborhoods I was just and showing say strength. That's great, yeah. great community involvement mm -hmm. along with all of this. Yeah, it's I, great I think it's excellent. Yeah, absolutely. you know, you get to talk to the neighborhood, you know, the neighbors, and you know, we get to show enforcement, show that we're not going to have, you know, all that crap in our neighborhoods. We're not going to have the drugs in our neighborhood. We're not going to have you know, sex offenders in our neighborhood, we're not going to have none of them, you know. Um, and if we do, then they know we're out there. And, and they know that we're going to be engaged in the community. And Keep we're going to, yes, and we're going to, and it's not necessarily because I'm a big believer in helping everybody mm -hmm. with, with whatever you, you do. I've always been, even when I was in law enforcement, even when I worked in the jails, I've always wanted to help everybody because, you know, therapy is the best thing. So we can't, you know, I'm not the type to lock somebody up and then hopefully they work out. It doesn't work like that. You know, it's, it's, you have to clean up your life and you need help. You know, everybody needs help. Even we need help in our business. So it's one of those things that if we all walk in the neighborhood and we do see anything, I'm not one to be like, oh, lock them up, throw away the key. No, let's help the community and let's, let's find out what's going on and let's, as a group, you know, help each other. Right. You know, if, if, you need, if, if you're selling drugs because you need a job or it's because you don't have... 
you can't find a good enough job where, you know, obviously, you know, drug money, you know, is pretty good. Well, what can we do for you? How can we help you? Are you having problem? You know, do you have problems studying? You can't, you can't go back to school. You know, there's, there's just so much into it. So uh, I, I like it just, just, just to be engaged. Just be engaged with, you know? <laughs> so. Well, well, thank you. That was a lot of great information that you gave out. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping somebody out there um, finds this information great and they want to join. Now you know where to go. Uh, contact Fabian. Or just go um, to the Clay County Sheriff's Office website. Right. And then, you know, get on in and join in uh, with your community. It's a, it's a great cause. It's a great thing to be a part of. Um, also, I uh, want to go ahead and congratulate oh. Mr. Fabian Vargas over here for passing the LCAM. Thank you. And yes, if, yes. And if nobody knows what that is, it is the Community Association Management uh, license that he just received on the 21st. So tell us a little bit more about that. That was interesting. Um, <laughs> it took two months. So if anybody's, if anybody's uh, interested in the LCAM license, uh, taking the state exam, I highly recommend you schedule your tests. Well, let me go through the whole process. It's not like the real estate exam. The real estate exam, you were able to schedule your exam before you pass the course. Um, so you were able to schedule fingerprints and the exam as soon as like you decide to get your real estate license and you sign up for a course, you could schedule everything. Um, I couldn't, I could not schedule my ex state exam until I passed the course because I needed to send the state the certificate showing that I passed the course before I could be eligible to schedule the exam. <laughs> not let alone take it. Um, so that took about a month. It took about so altogether, I think what two and a half months before yeah, I passed that's it. About right. um, so from the time that I started the exam, the, the course it took me about a month because obviously I don't have all the time in the world. Um, so it took me about a month to finish the course, and then finally got the. Um, Got the certificate, so I apply through you know DBPR and send over the, the application with uh, proof of that I passed, and then they send me back an email with all the with the link saying that I'm in the system now and I can go to to Pearson View and schedule the state exam. And in the meantime, while I was waiting for that, I went to take fingerprints and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty. Much, the process is similar to the real estate license, except that little thing that you can't schedule the exam until you show proof that you passed the course. Um, then you go, you take the 100, 100 multiple choice exam at Pearson View, um, pass the test, and then, you know, you receive. I think I got my email like two days after I, I took the test. I got my certificate. Uh, so yeah, so it's hanging up in the water. So it's another avenue. Um, one thing I'm going to say, which probably a lot, of guys, a lot of you guys will agree, a lot of you, you know, anybody that's taking a state exam, um, when I took the exam, probably half of that test, was not in my coursework. So I had to go back to common sense. Um, um, what did I call it that I do? When I start knocking out the, which is multiple choice, I start knocking out the answers that are not, just definitely buy, not right. Buy. There's a word for that. I was using it the other day. I could believe it. I don't know, I can't remember. Oh goodness, like right on my tip of my tongue and I can't remember what it was. Oh, process of limit, limit Process of elimination. Thank you. Process of <laughs> elimination. Yeah, I just went through the whole process of elimination thing when it comes to test taking. You know, knock out the ones that you 100% know are not right, and then you whatever you have left, then you start analyzing with keywords and stuff like that. So I had to do that with a lot of my tests because a lot of that stuff was just not in the course. Um, of course, every course gives you your basic stuff, and then when you go to the state exam, you know, obviously yeah. they try to hide. You know, the state always tries to hide the questions because they don't want you. Right, cheating or memorizing yeah, the answers. Absolutely. So, you know, so it's understandable. But I did pass. I don't know how much because they don't give they don't tell you how much you pass, but but I did pass and that's what it matters. And yeah, now now I'm uh, now I'm licensed and, and I could have that designation after my name, you know, LCAM. Um so if you know you guys are in an HOA and needing somebody to manage your association, whether it's condos or HOAs or co ops, you know, we're fine. Yeah. Cool. Just a self plug there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for interviewing me. Not having me. I live here. But oh, right. Yeah, you do. You live here. <laughs> well, again, thank you for watching. Please yes. don't forget to subscribe. Follow us. Uh, we are, of course, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. 
Um, so reach us out. Read it, Rich. Yeah, Rich. I know. Neither, neither oh of us can talk goodness. tonight. It's been a long day. Reach out to us. Long day. <laughs> <laughs> For anything. I don't care what it is. Just reach out to us. And we still have those exciting news coming up, by the way. Yes. We still haven't revealed that. We still that. have not revealed our exciting yeah. news yet. We haven't revealed but it's it coming. yet. We haven't revealed it, be revealed it because we can't yet. We can't. But as soon as we get the okay, we will. <laughs> but we will. Yeah. All right. Thanks again for watching. Take care, guys. Bye, guys.